Welcome back to SoundersFC.com. I'm Tony Ventrella. This is 1v1, and our guest is Mark Birch. Welcome from the East Coast to the West, from one Washington to the other. I don't know why we call this the other Washington, but that's what they call it here. Yeah, thank you. It's nice You're to welcome. be here. You're welcome. And uh, so you come here, with it, obviously, with an opportunity to make a, a dent on things here. Uh, how was your experience in D.C.? Tell me what, what the highs and lows were. It was great. Uh, my first year, I... Uh, you know, I started playing left back. That was my first real year that I played left back. And uh, I actually filled in for Josh Gross when he got a concussion. And, you know, I kind of took over that spot. And that was really my, my spot to lose for the last four or five years. And first season was great. And the second one was pretty good. And from there, you know, our, our, our season started to get a little worse and worse. Yeah. And, uh, you know, D.C. has its ups and downs. And, and, and right now they're a little bit lower than they have been. But it was a great time. And, you know, Thank the fans and everybody that was when I was there, and you know I'm happy to move on though. Yeah, and now it's transition time, new teammates, and uh, but you've done new teammates before. Every place you go, there's new teammates. Yeah. So how, how do you handle that? Uh, you know, I think you just got to be upfront with the guys, and you know, try to be honest, and you know, speak your mind, and and you know, hopefully they respect you for that, and sure. you know, friendly with everyone. You know, it's always nice to meet new people and learn their personalities and have new coaches come and go, and you you got to really learn. You know, you got to learn how to be a professional in this league, and. And being professional is, you know, being kind to your teammates and, and learning how to respect each and every one of them. Yeah, there's no, there's no doubt, no matter what level it is. So you went, you played at Evansville, then you went to Maryland for your senior year. So are you, are you from the Midwest or from the East Coast? Yeah, I'm from the Midwest. Okay. Uh, I grew up in Cincinnati. Oh, okay. Great yeah. city. Yeah. And it's just a, it's a terrific city. Were you a Reds fan growing up, baseball at all or not? Uh, more of a Bengals fan. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Sure. Um, and the University of Cincinnati and yeah. Ohio State Buckeyes. Yeah. Big yeah. Ohio guys. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, that's cool. This, uh, you'll find some differences in this part of the country. It, it only snows one inch a year here, <laughs> and it throws the city off for seven or eight days. But besides that, everything <laughs> yeah. is fine. Uh, so you're, if you had to say that you have a, a goal coming here, what would it be? I mean, fitting in is a nice goal, but you you want you have higher expectations than that, I would think. Yeah, I mean, my goal is to help this team win an MLS Cup. Um, you know, they've done the Open Cup, and you know, and hopefully push as far as we can in the Champions League. And you know, the farther we go, the better. Um, but MLS Cup is something that this this team needs and the city needs, um, and they've they've proved they're one of the best in the league every year. And, and now, hopefully, I can help towards the MLS Cup. Let's go back a little bit uh, to your childhood, to your first. Um, involvement with athletics. Was it soccer? Yeah, it was. Um, okay. I come from a big family. I have uh, seven brothers and sisters. So, wow. um, you know, as soon as I could walk, I played soccer with them. Um, my parents were always coaching their young teams. And, That's cool. you know, I, my mom tells a story when I was two, the, the first time I went to a soccer game, I, I got hit with a ball, you know, hit, hit in the head with a ball. And that, <laughs> and that was how soccer started for That's me. Good. You know, and then I was up and moving, running around and, and playing whenever I could. So that's good. See, now in baseball, if you get hit, hit in the head with the ball your first time, you never play it again. <laughs> yeah. Soccer, it has a totally a different outcome, obviously, with you. And as a, uh, as a professional soccer player, do you find a connection to the community when you were in D.C.? And, and do you, would that be something you might try to do here? In yeah, Kansas? definitely. Um, I think to reach out to the fans and to the community is one of the, one of the big important things in, this, in the MLS. You know, and I think we're respected for that as we... We try to go out and, and meet people and show that we're human and, and that we can be friendly and, and, you know, help the city in any way we can. Um, D.C., we passed out books, and, you know, here, I'm not sure what exactly we do, but, uh, you know, I'll be happy to do it whenever I can. Yeah, there's a lot of good community outreach programs that the Sounders are involved in. Are you, um, are you a guy that, uh, that tweets a lot? Are you on Twitter? Do you have a lot of messages to send <laughs> No, I don't, do, I don't do Twitter. Okay. Um, right. Facebook, I, I, I try to do some, but, uh, you know, I have, I have a wife, so I try to keep my... Yeah. Try to keep my thoughts to myself a little bit, but if Twitter's something that people want, then you know I can I can change. Yeah, well, you know, with a, I think with a with a close relationship like a marriage, you know, you're 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 tweeting back and forth all the time, really, except you're doing it in person, which, yeah. is, which is actually kind of a unique uh, thought when you think about it. It's a good way to do it. Well, Mark, we wish you the best here. Welcome to Seattle. Welcome to Sounders, and uh, we'll see you out there. All okay. right. Thank you very much. All right, uh, that is one v one on soundersfc.com with Mark Birch. I'm Tony Ventrella. We'll see you next time.